When I was a child, one of my most favorite activities or games that I used to play was playing with Lego. I used to stack the blocks one on top of each other and try to build the tallest building I could possibly build. Essentially, I was building a skyscraper. Today, we're going to be looking at an artist that used to paint with blocks. Essentially, he would paint buildings with blocks and his name was Paul Clay, or some people refer to him as Paul Klee. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Follow along and have fun. Paul Klee was a Swiss German painter that lived between the years of 1879 and 1940. He painted in a great variety of styles. However, we're going to be looking at one of his abstract pieces today. In his painting, Castle and the Sun, Clay has constructed buildings with the use of geometric shapes only. The buildings have a very strong sense of structure. The most prominent geometric shapes in the buildings are squares and triangles. We are going to be creating our own cityscape today in the same manner that Clay has created Castle in the Sun. For this project you will need the following. An A3 or A4 piece of white paper, a ruler, pencil, some coloured wax crayons or coloured pencils or some coloured markers. To start your drawing, draw a grid by placing lines of ruler width apart vertically and horizontally on your page. Think about how skyline looks of a city that is close by to you. This could be Santon, Victoria, Johannesburg, or any city that you'd like to visit. Your grid of blocks is going to form the basis of your drawing. Just as you had stack Lego blocks one on top of each other to form a building, try to identify buildings that you could make by outlining the blocks on your page. Draw a sun or moon in the sky by means of tracing around a circular object. Add further details to your building by placing geometric shapes inside. These could include triangles, diamonds, circles, rectangles, or further geometric shapes. I'm going to decorate my first building in a random color scheme. A random color scheme is any color that I think would look good inside the building. I'm going to decorate the remaining buildings with analogous colors or harmonious colors. Harmonious colors are colors that lie directly next to each other on the color wheel. You can pause this part of the video to study which colors are analogous or harmonious colors. Try to identify which harmonious or analogous colors I've used in my buildings. Fill the background with warm colors if you are doing a daytime scene or cool colors if you are doing a nighttime scene. If you are limited by the color palette that you have in your markers, you may use coloring in pencils to decorate the background. Adjust the tones by pushing harder or softer on your coloring in pencil. I certainly enjoyed creating my own Paul Klee cityscape. I especially enjoyed using harmonious colors in my color scheme. 
If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna see you in the next episode.